Hey, it's Joe, and this is my next project. All right, the Jeremy Schmidt 2x72 belt grinder. Check out that cobby piece. Look, just in a short time, it grinds the corners off of that. This is a wonderful uh, grinder sander. We're about to get it put together. We're sandblasting it, a little fine grain sandblast to give it a little tooth. And then we spray it with a coat of Cerakote. And you know, this is not the kind of Cerakote that we bake. It was more or less like paint looked like to me, but pretty hard stuff. And uh, back at the house, I am building a top for the roll around box. And I'll cover that with boiled linseed oil. And here we are putting it together. And then we'll can't wait to get it back in my shop. I sure like this thing. All right, we got the box all rolled in here, got the top on it, and we set the sander up on it. The problem is it's 50 inches tall. This right here is about 39 inches tall. That's just way too tall. This thing's up in my face. This is not going to work out the way I wanted it to. I wanted to be able to roll the bench around with the cord on it and a plug for my welder and... I'm still going to be able to do that. However, cannot put the sander grinder machine on there. So, plan B is I've got another cabinet over here, which is really a better cabinet for the sander. See, that box was there. I got to clean all this mess up. This box right here is about 31 inches tall, which will bring the, bring the table of that grinder down. And this has all the drawers, and look at these. It's for the sanding belts, these things would be, these things are gonna be cool. Hey, look, another grinder. All right, so, but I don't think I want it there because my only plug is right there. So that leaves me no choice. I'm gonna have to clean up some stuff. This is where I've been storing all the parts. And I've got other things I can put there. I can put the sander grinder there and plug it in. I've got a shear, a sheet metal shear. I'm gonna bring in a, uh, kind of like a hand iron worker that will, uh, snip pretty thick stuff like eighth inch but i gotta get rid of all this junk so i'm gonna do that i'll be right back that's no good It's doing it right. There, how about that? Little triangulation. That thing is strong as a rock now. Yeah. Nothing. Mounted on the bench. That's like 60 or 80 thousandths galvanized. It's glued down. I've been using the fuse it stuff. It comes in a caulking tube. It's like silicone, only a little bit stiffer, never gets brittle. It's cool stuff. And I painted the box. Always paint. My dad always told me you only get one chance to paint it. And if you don't do it, you just end up with multicolored stuff like you don't want. So we got the controller. Aaron came over, wired all this stuff up because Joe don't wire too good. This is a three phase. It's got a converter mounted, mounted down in the box. 
And let me just show you this thing. Got my light. Because I can't see, I need the light. And I like having, I want the on off for the light right here. I don't want to have to be reaching for it. And what I really want is a regular bulb. Just don't give me a candelabra Christmas tree light, weirdo click in, quarter screw light. I, I just can't abide that. I just want a regular light. I can screw it in. I don't care if it's LED or what it is, as long as I can replace it with a regular light. Let's not blind ourselves. Let's not get crazy. But check it out before it gets all dusty. Check out the welds. Now, you saw a sanding on this thing, and I know you're thinking, they bondoed it up. There is absolutely no bondo. There's no thick primer. There's no filler primer. There's no anything. That's welding and Cerakote. And it's not the kind of Cerakote that you bake. It's just a regular run-of-the-mill Cerakote that just kind of dries like paint. And, of course, had to add the oddball shifter which that when you change the belt, I'll show you in a second. The reason it's up so high off the counter is the motor swings down and you saw Aaron's in the other video. Well, he was smart enough to build his bench not as deep in that corner. Well, I ain't that smart. Nobody's, nobody's accusing me of being that smart. Here we go. Here's his controller. And this thing is Variable speed, and there's the speedometer right there. Oh, let's run it. All right. <laughs> Variable speed. There we go. What is that? We're on three. Run a little faster. 18. That's pretty fast. Thirty-eight. Solid is a rock, though. You know we had this before. No wiggling now. No wiggling. The table's not jumping around. Let's let's ride it. Still smooth. This is right at the edge. And the cool thing is here. You can adjust this and make it walk over. See, I can make it walk off that, or I can make it walk back. Cool. Is that, is, is that all you got? No. Like a rock. Come on. <laughs> The wheels over here are good too. Now, the tension belt is not all not all out of line either. This runs right down there. This is a very nice machine and I am so proud to have it. Let's make it run fast. There we go. <clears throat> Wide open. Now I don't usually grind with it that fast. I usually grind with it down here. about right there. Here, here's a cool deal. You can get a little faster than that. You can go about 70. That's legal speed limit, isn't it? And here, what's this? Uh, and it lays over, and it lays where you're not rubbing a groove in the belt. You can use the whole belt. Here is a fine piece of stuff. 
the kids have been practicing on this. Really, this is the way I weld, actually. And I'm blaming it on the kids. No, nope, this is this is the kid stuff. And let's just Watch it stop. We don't have to wait on it to stop. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to change the belt, but I'll show you how to change the belt. All right, here's how to change the belt. Just grab that and it comes off pretty easy. And then we put it back on kind of like this. There we go. And then we'll stand back up. And we can turn this knob up here. If we turn it this way, it'll go that way. And I can get it off the corner. Or I can make it come back over here and make it dead on the corner there. It's just cool. I like it. If you did, tell your friends and subscribe.